All right, everyone knows how Enchanted Portals was received. A trailer for another Cuphead clone came out at one point and sure, it looked kind of rough with the great value Goofy stealing the show, but nothing has prepared us for what would come next. Mickey Mouse from Steamboat Willie officially entered public domain in January of 2024, which basically means people can use this version of Mickey Mouse in their creations without fear of copyright. Look, we all expected those trashy Five Nights at Freddy ripoff Mickey Mouse horror games to start hitting Steam, but guys, somebody made a Mickey Mouse Cuphead clone, and it's not good. Like, it's at first funny bad, but then it just gets bad bad. How do I know this? Well, I played the game. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't finish it. Not yet, at least. See, I need a patch to come out to actually progress. But we will get to that part. First, I need to talk about feelings. I'm actually okay with fan games. If a couple high school students get together and make a meme Mario game with guns and terrible platforming, it's whatever. They had fun and released it to the world, that's fine. I have no idea who made this game, how old they are, or where they are from, but the moment you decide to charge money for a game, Anyone who plays it owes everyone else the full truth unfiltered. And let me just say, I think this might be the worst game I have ever spent money on. This game is only $5 on the Microsoft Store, yet I still feel buyer's remorse. The only people that should play Rubber Hose Rampage are people that are paid to. This isn't a funny what if we made a Mickey Mouse Cuphead meme game. This is actually just a shoddy slap together asset rip that barely hides the fact it steals almost every idea from Cuphead. It's actually almost unfair to compare stuff like animation because I think I could literally replicate this stuff in Microsoft Paint. All right, but let's just start with booting up the game. Look at how the menu works. Look at the save files. Listen to the music. Doesn't this theme literally sound like they cut up and moved around pieces of a Cuphead song together? to make a remix? See, when I first launched the game and saw all of this, I just laughed. Okay, so you must be doing this on purpose. It will get better, right? Was that a random Wilhelm scream in the background? Yeah, that's not me editing it in. It's literally just a Wilhelm scream when you load. Also, the loading screens look familiar too. The font, whatever. The lore is insane. AI chatbots have taken over the world, we learn while reading the intro. Knock off Terminator music playing in the background. Apparently, we aren't actually Mickey Mouse, just an AI chatbot disguised and sent back in time to kill John Connor, aka Steamboat Willie, who will become the Resistance leader. Okay, here comes the time portal. Please don't be Nude Arnie. Please don't be Nude Arnie. Oh, okay, we're fine. Next up is the tutorial. Wait, is this literally just the Cuphead tutorial? Is this actually just the entire tutorial level ripped from MDHR? Oh, okay, they don't have the parry part because these devs probably wouldn't know how to implement that anyways. I'm not kidding, this is actually just the Cuphead tutorial sequence. That one review guy would probably get stuck here as well and like trigger nom flashbacks. Here's the overworld. It's a straight line, each dot is its own set of boss fights. See all of these creatures around the map? Yeah, unrelated. <laughs> Look at the pause menu. Obviously, we can't rebind controls because it's $5. Why would they add that? All right, time for the farm world. Boss one, bees. A huge colony of bees was living under this backyard playground equipment, and I was called to remove them. Phase one. Just look at this engaging gameplay. This giant hive shoots bees that will literally go right into your bullets. You can just stand there. Look, if you're gonna make a stupid fan game, you at least have to make it engaging, like I wanna be the guy or something. There has to be something going for this game, but there really isn't. Oh yeah, what's that weapon? It's a pea shooter. A pea shooter. My favorite feature in this game is that the projectile peas don't even shoot from the gun, they shoot from Mickey's face. <laughs> also, the damage is so low, it's actually infuriating how long the first phase takes with nothing happening. Whatever, that's fine. Time for phase two. What the heck? It's not even the same art style? The line art is all wrong. Also, why are some things in color and some not? Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Okay, she kind of bad. Wait, what? What hit me there? Her stinger is angled sideways, but the hitbox is above her. <laughs> what? 
Now, okay, now this is the engaging gameplay we are looking for. At least now we actually have to move our character. I'm actually screaming at the hitbox at this point. Okay, phase three, here we go. Wait, why did the hive shrink? Oh, okay, I'm dead. Where's the death animation? Oh good, for a second I thought I was scared he wouldn't rip off the death screen. Wait, who is that guy? Why is he the death cult? He isn't part of this boss fight. Why is Mickey Mouse holding a ship wield at the start? It's craziness! What, what is that? What is that? What is it? Almost to phase three. Wait, who are you? Oh, okay, you just randomly show up and throw a bomb in this fight. Strange, but at least we know why you did the death quote. Oh shit, she packing my bag, girl. Girl, chill, chill, chill! Oh, it's just a bee gun. So phase three is a non-issue. First boss down. This is going pretty great. Yeah, yeah, there's a scorecard screen with time and grade. We get it, you ripped off, Cuphead. Oh, new gun, let's go. It's the Bee Blaster. It's actually just homing shot, but they can't animate, so it just shoots bees at the closest target, and it does no damage. It's painful how long it takes to kill something. At least the first phase of the next fight will be engaging, right? Also, see that platform? Just take note of it and save it for later. Wait, what? <laughs> what? This guy? This freaking guy whose name is Pegleg Pete, by the way, can just show up in any boss fight at any time and throw his bomb. It's all RNG, but I swear, the timing on this guy. He literally makes it so that sometimes you can't avoid damage because he throws the bomb in the one spot you can be safe at at the exact moment you need it. There's no coding work behind this guy. It's literally all RNG when he shows up. And I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I phase two time. Guys, let me just put this out there. I've never broken a controller or screen. I rarely rage. I almost never lose my temper at a difficult jump or boss. I'm okay dying dozens of times because most games I play, I know I made the mistake. This phase almost changed me as a person. The hitboxes in this game are so broken. These mushrooms make no sense in how they work. And the pattern that little piggy drops him in is so badly done that sometimes you literally just get screwed over. Sorry, take the damage, hope you enjoyed. The best part is that Mickey has different hitboxes for his stances, so crouching is actually worse because it widens your hitbox. <laughs> I swear these devs have never played a game in their lives. Also the back of Mickey's hitbox is further out than the front, so in order to figure out how to survive this part you need to be closer to the mushrooms in the front than to the back. To make things worse, the control precision in this game is terrible, and it's worse on a controller stick. In order to get to the right spot, you have to lightly flick the stick. But if you need to turn around, it doesn't matter what you do, you'll always shoot like a full Mickey length in the other direction. The only way to survive this part is to stay close to the middle and pray for good RNG on the mushroom drops. The best part is you have to use the B gun, so killing this phase takes literally forever, while you're crying and molding and hoping the shrooms get a good pattern. And also, because the floor isn't a line, you have to lean in close to make sure you don't accidentally run into a mushroom once it passed below you, because sometimes it could actually be at the same level and you just can't tell. Look, please be proud of me. I made it through. It can't be worse than this. The next fight surely will at least be fair. Well, actually, it kind of is. Also, this flower is a bit of a vibe, though. So it's basically the same as the last boss. This flower goes back and forth in the same exact pattern as Piggy but this time there are flower petals falling in a sort of sync with the music, which honestly scares me because either the devs actually took time to make that happen or they got lucky. You, I can't actually play the music by the way because it's copyrighted. Phase two hits and things get more difficult. You can't just stand on the platform anymore because flower too big. So you need to jump over while dodging the petals. Unfortunately, the hitboxes are still terrible and of course if you tab jump, it's too low. So you have to full jump but there are flower petals above you off screen, so you are screwed. To actually beat this phase, you need to jump straight up, wait, and then dash in between stuff in the correct timing. This would actually be fine, except of course, Peg Leg Pete just randomly shows up and throws his bombs, so you're gonna take damage no matter what if this happens. This phase took me a bit, but once I got it down, it was time for phase three, which is the exact same thing as before, only now that flower is Damn, dummy thick, and the hitbox is wider? So you need to be even more precise with jump timings and dashing. Honestly, if it wasn't for that BS cat RNG, this fight wouldn't be terrible. You just have to ignore the terrible animations, hitboxes, controls, art, background art, everything I guess. Alright, third boss down. 
No new guns or anything, but hey, we are making progress, right? The chicken. The gosh darn mother shucking chicken. Recognize this platform? Yeah, it's in every fight. It's just the same arena again and again with a bunch of random assets in the background. What's that? Phase one, the boss goes back and forth across the bottom of the screen so you need to jump over it? How unique. Why does it have so much health? Dear God, it takes forever. Help me. I will say that strut is something though. Like this chicken got it. I don't know what it is, but you have got it. Phase two, let's go. Oh. It's just the piggy second phase. No, 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 no. Okay, but this time the egg hitboxes are way smaller. So it's kind of easy to get through. Obviously because the controls are so imprecise, you will hit sometimes. And if you do, you have to reset because you need full health for the final phase. Yeah, the chicken goes crazy. This is the first Cuphead wacky phase transition. It really compares and holds up, doesn't it? Now, Chicken is alien spaceship that shoots beams down in any, and I mean any, competent game. You would be able to sit under the platform while the beam weapon passes overhead. These aren't competent devs though. There is no way they would know how to code something as complex as a hitbox. No, the actual way to progress the fight is very complex. You see, you need to wait on one side of the screen till the ship passes you twice. Then it's time to run to the other side of the screen and wait in the corner till the ship passes you twice. Seems easy, right? Let's throw in a twist. Because the timing is coded so badly on this ship, at regular intervals, the beam will clear the entire screen from one corner to the other with no save zone. You have to take hits in this phase because there's no way to dodge this. Okay, now we need to take a step back and talk about maximizing phase damage. That's right, I'm actually creating the game's meta because bosses in this game won't simply transition to the next phase after taking enough damage. They also have to finish whatever it is they were doing at the time. Because of this, it's imperative for you to stop shooting sometimes. For example, when this chicken is going back and forth in the sky, you want to get its health below phase two after it starts going from right to left. Because if you do, then when it goes to phase three, it comes back across the screen for more damage. If you get it below while it's going left to right, it will disappear off screen and you can't maximize damage. The reason we're doing this is because if we have to take damage in phase three, the only way to win is to finish the health bar before the full screen laser happens the third time. So we need to maximize damage with the pea shooter because the B gun is so completely trash. Remember the cat? Yeah, he will show up in the phase three transition sometimes. It's just random. He will even sometimes show up two times in a row. So in order to beat this boss, we need to beat the first two phases without taking a hit. Then make sure the bird is going right to left before we go to phase three health bar. Then we have to pray to R and Jesus that the cat doesn't show up to throw a bomb when we are peppering the boss change animation. Then we need to play perfect on the beam so that we have at least two guaranteed hits to take on the laser and it ends clear. If we do all of this perfectly while dealing damage with the pea shooter to maximize hits, I still couldn't beat it. It's probably possible if your aim is perfect and the laser lineup doesn't happen right away, but I've already spent hours on this game. I'm good. I've seen enough of this game to be able to say definitively that no one should buy this game. Now, they may patch this game, but I highly doubt this will ever turn into something of value. I think Enchanted Portals has a chance. Rubber Hose Rampage? No way. Having said all that, I know that YouTube above all else loves the suffering of others, so let me know in the comments if you guys want to see the rest of the bosses in this game. I'm kind of interested myself to see if the devs can think of a different move for a boss besides side to side movement and vertical object dropping. The game's description promises 21 boss fights and we are only four in, so it's honestly quite terrifying what we might see later in the game. Anyways, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, give me credit card details, you know the drill.